What up, YouTube? It's your boy Bailey, uh, back again with the uh, Wax Chronicles. Hope all you dudes and dudettes are doing well out there. Um, we got kind of a mismatch, all sorts of stuff going on in this video. Um, got some old news here. Just wanted to look at a couple cards with you guys. We got the mail day here. Then we also got... A live bust, a live bust arena for all you freaks out there. So um, we'll save that for the end and we'll get into the uh, old news first. We'll take a peek at some of these <clears throat> old cards that are just, you know, some favorites from my collection. Um, start here. Um, let me make sure. 1920. So yeah, last year's optic was uh, pretty cool. We actually got to, my brother was able to, sorry, flip that video. My brother was able to find some retail and we were able to get quite a bit of it and we busted it all, kept it all for our PCs and stuff and pulled a couple of cool Kobe's, just I guess a highlight of the, the Black Mamba, wanted to show you guys a couple cards that I like out of my collection. We got the Winter Stays insert set, uh, just regular prism, just a clean looking card. Signature Kobe move, I mean it's just... You got the Larry O'Brien trophy there, hoisting it. So it's just, I don't know. It was a really cool set, really cool player to get. I really like how this card looks. Um, just a, a really cool one to have in the collection. A nice one to be flipping through. It's always a pleasant surprise when you come across it. Next one I wanted to show is a little a little more rare than that. It's uh, from that same optic set. We got the uh, Express Lane Green Prism. Um, a really sick card. I personally like the um, the winter stays one a little bit more, but like I said, this one's a little rarer. As you can see, the green prism number ninety six out of one forty nine. But I mean, this is back with like Froby, almost back when he had the mini Fro. So another sick Kobe card. Um, now we got a couple a uh, couple glass ones actually. This is from twelve thirteen Panini Donruss Elite uh, Glass Masters. I really like uh, plexiglass cards or glass cards or whatever you call them. Just sick to get a Kobe one. Um, and somehow in my collection I actually have two glass Kobe cards. This one comes from, I believe, 0203 UD Glass Clear Winners Insert Set Kobe. So, funny story about this one. Uh, my brother Tanner, who also posts on the channel, um, kind of a joint venture with him. Um, we used to every once in a while go halves on a box and we'd split out the packs and stuff. And I remember though, 203 UD glass was, it was pretty much criminal what happened there. I, uh, you know, in the pack draft, I ended up getting all of the good cards and he ended up getting just nothing. I mean, I got every hit, I got every cool insert, I got all the cool rookies and he just got totally shafted. So... Uh, still, still feel guilty about that one for sure. But what you know, what can you really do? Um, I guess the ever since then we've tried to avoid doing that, as it can really leave one of us short-handed. So now we kind of just bust our own stuff for the most part, with a few exceptions. Anyways, just a, a couple Kobe cards there for you guys and some collectors history. Uh, we got here a. Oh, a uh, mail day. We just got one single here to open. I'm wondering. So like, as you guys know, I I'm try to be like a cost. Um, I don't I don't like to spend just a ton of money ridiculously on basketball cards. I'm pretty conservative with my, uh, you know, how I operate on that front. I don't like to just throw money away, but I do have. One really nice Markel single coming. It doesn't look like we've gotten it today, but we did get something just as sweet here. Let me get these in the correct order for you guys. All right, beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> right here we have a John Wall lot. So <clears throat> I uh, I really like John Wall. He's one of my favorite players in the league. I love everything this guy does. Um, I think people underrate him pretty consistently and I think it makes them look foolish. I mean, he, all he does is prove people wrong. So I bought 
a few of his cards, and there's one highlight here at the end. We have the 1617 Prestige. Not super familiar with this base set. It's got a little bit of a see-through to it. I almost doubt that that's the base set, but kind of a... It might be the way I'm looking at it. You know, the card number six. Nothing that would indicate it's an insert set or a subset up there. Um, but it's, you know, see-through, and there's kind of like... Some silhouettes that aren't really coming through of the fans behind them. Just a cool looking card. Uh, next up we got the 1819 Hoops Holiday Base Set. John Wall. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, we got a Panini Chronicles. Looks like Base Set. John Wall showing young players how it's done. He does that all the time. We got a 2017 Panini Contenders. Clean looking car. You got Bradley Beal looking over his shoulder. It's one of the funnest uh, backcourts to watch in the league for a while there. Uh, next up, we got a 1819 Hoops Lights Camera Action. Looks like it's from a holiday set as well. Very clean looking card. Really like that one. You know, usually I don't like the gimmick of like the snowflakes and stuff too much, but I think it, I don't know, it makes this card look pretty cool. So. Um, next up we got a 1718 Prestige Stars of the NBA insert John Wall another very clean looking card that one's probably going to go in a top loader again I don't care about value it ain't about the dollars associated with these cards it's you know I used to get chastised for this say, saying back in the day but I value cards on sentimental dollars you know like this card holds more value to me than my third Luca optic base rookie, you know, like anyways, that's I'll get off my my high horse here. Uh, we got seventeen eighteen prestige stat stars John Wall. Back back when things were were good pre injury. He's kinda of one of the elite point guards in the league. I, I still think he can get there, but the uh, public perception of him is Definitely underrates him. We got a uh, 1819 Chronicles moving on up in DC. I really like some of these Chronicles cards. I don't really understand what they do with that set, but it makes for some unique, you know, not so much run of the mill stuff. You know, everyone is and their mother has seen, you know, oh, standard forgettable base set one. Look at you, 1213 Panini. But. Just, just some cool stuff. Again, I'm very much a visual uh, card collector, so this this kind of stuff really makes me happy. Last but not least with the John Walls, we got the Prestige Rookie. <clears throat> so, again, I really like to have at least some sort of rookie cards of my favorite players. John Wall's one of my favorite players, and here's a rookie card. So this was kind of the the big prize on this lot of cards, but these will definitely, you know, any any day I can add more John Wall to my collection, the happier I am. So this almost just becomes a little cherry on top with the with the rookie cards. So really really digging that. Glad it's part of my collection. Kind of kind of shocked, you know. I didn't already have that card. So um, who knows? Maybe once I dig into to my collection a little bit more. Maybe I'll have some more blasts from the past cards. Maybe a couple John Wall rookies will show up. So, all right, I'll quit wasting everyone's time. Um, just with the hobby the way it is, it's it's really hard to find cards available for purchase. I have to drive two hours in hopes to find anything retail, and then the hobby shops are just crazy with how, you know, I'm not going to spend $450, $425 on an $80 to $90 box of Revolution. So um, we're left with these options. The local card shop had one of these in stock. I bought it at a uh, premium price, which kind of sucks because this is a $20 blaster. But, you know, I figure it's it's been quite a while since I've busted any wax. So here's a, a little bit of an overpay. We got 1920 Chronicles. And I promise I wasn't just hyping up those John Wall base set cards in advance of this, but I really do like what Chronicles does sometimes with their some of their cards. So 
got our stack of packs here, aka our stack of wax. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs, five cards per pack, 40 cards per box. We'll start from the bottom because I'm superstitious. Hoping to see, you know, some of the big ticket rookies. It's always a good day when you can add another jaw or Zion to your collection. So that's the hope. But again, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. This is actually kind of funny. This is the the card I really want to pull. Um, not necessarily of Nikhil Alexander-Walker, but these Chronicles Luminance insert sets... If I can get a John Morant, I would be, I mean, that's, it's not Grail stuff, but holy cow, I, just the look of that card is, is incredible. So, really cool to get a Nikhil Alexander-Walker. I know my brother's going to be jealous. He's a diehard Pelicans fan. He's a big fan of Nikhil, and this card is really, really sick. So, um, next up, we got Jarrett Culver. Rookie card. Just looks like kind of the standard base. Sorry, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Let me see if I can figure that out real quick. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my camera and that other app I was using were terrible. So, I'll go back to that Terrence Davis here. Base set rookie, or I guess it might be a playbook insert set that's the elevation Jarrett Culver essentials I guess not elevation I don't know what a lot of these insert sets are so sorry if some of you guys are more well informed than me and I'm just butchering this so we got a kind of a cool insert set Eric Pascal Chronicles XR very clean looking card really like that one Highlight of that pack is definitely the Nikhil Luminance. That is just mwah, beautiful. So, on to pack two. Oh, looks like we're doubling up on the Seku Dumboya the playbook. Not bad. And the Nikhil Alexander Walker mojo continues. Looks like we have a pink or purple playbook parallel here. Not bad. And a Darius Garland, Rookie and Stars. Not bad. The Jamal Murray, his game garners respect. Very clean looking card, holy cow. I mean, again, not to go back to the visual, but this looks like a premium card to me if you took away kind of the corny um, quote there. But anyways, very nice looking card. And we got the Panini Marquee Rookie. Sekou Dumboya, again, got the mojo for him, I guess. Uh, move on to pack three here. Oh, this pack's coming apart very poorly. See a pelican on the back. It ain't the one we want, but ain't bad. All right. Card one, the John Morant, base set rookie, not bad. Very good looking card, not the luminance, but beggars can't be choosers. Donruss rated rookie, Kai Bowman. We got the Drummond Optic base set. Guy just got bought out and hopefully he'll end up on a contender. Look at that, third one, Dumboya. Not bad. And last but not least, we got the Chronicles Recon Rookie of Jackson Hayes. That is a nice looking card. Holy cow. Very clean. A lot of Dumboya and a lot of uh, a lot of Pell's rookies in this one. So, you know, not necessarily the guys that I look for, but somebody out there has got to be wanting these guys. Ooh, we got our second Luminance, Darius Garland. Not bad. Very nice looking card. Next up, we got the Blake Griffin adding another weapon. I wonder what these Chronicles. I guess they're just just says Chronicles, so part of the base set. Next up, we got a 
Rookies and Stars, Kevin Porter Jr. Sounds like he's getting back on the right track in Houston. Love to see those 90s Cavs throwbacks too. De'Aaron Fox base, and we got a Luka Doncic, or Doncic, whichever way you pronounce it, Panini Marquee. Not bad. All right, pack number... Is this pack number five, I believe? So no, no uh, Zions just yet. Fingers crossed. <coughs> Excuse me. Third Luminance, Tyler Hero. Not bad. Not a bad one to get by any means. Got it. Romo, Romo. Wherefore out there, Romo. Uh, Romeo Langford, rookie. Not bad. DeAndre Hunter, playbook. Keldon Johnson. Not bad. Ooh. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, baby. Nasir Little. We got the uh, Essentials. Looks like the pink parallel. That is... It's going to go on a top loader. That is a nice looking card. Dudes and dudettes. And that's one of my... Uh, probably one of my favorite rookies from that class. So, very pleased with that one. Three packs left. What's it going to be? Start here. Fingers crossed. We got one jaw so far. No Zions. Not bad. Next up we got our Keldon Johnson playbook. Looks like we got a Cam Johnson, Panini Threads, Rookies and Stars, PJ Washington, Donovan Mitchell, base set. He's making kind of a wonky face in the bottom left there. And on the back, Essentials LeBron base. Very nice. Always happy to see LeBron. Holy cow. That's a cool card. I like that. All right, boys. Two left. Left or right? What are we doing? What are we doing? Go with this one. Feels a little thicker. Who knows? Who knows what that could mean? No, I'm just tripping. It looks like there's an optic card in here. Uh, Luminance again. Uh, got Luca. So that's pretty, pretty sick looking card. Next up, we got Harden. Chronicles base. The Kendrick Nunn. Ooh, Prism rookie. Not bad. Won't, won't hear a complaint out of me for that one. Jarrett Culver, Threads Rookie. And on the back, we got the Hero XR Rookie. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Last pack mojo, boys. It all comes down to this. Not, not starting off great. Not going to lie to you. Jordan Poole. Get this mother... F Never mind. Cam Johnson, Base. Got another Nasir Little, not bad, not bad. Rookies and Stars. Harden, Prestige. And then on the end, we got a Carson Edwards Panini Marquee. So not bad. I'm uh, pretty pleased with this. You know, we got a couple nice Nasir Littles. Got a couple Luminance cards. I really like the look of those. A um, couple nice Tyler Heroes. A Jaw. We, got, we pulled the Jaw. Um, but yeah, you know, not, not bad. I was really hoping to get a, uh, the John Morant of the Luminance, but the quest continues or a Zion. I mean, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't complain with that, but, um, really kind of hoping for that jaw. It's cool to pull a prism rookie out of this and then, uh, you know, some other cool ones in there, but yeah, that's the, that's the bust boys. Um, Again, I, I don't know if we're going to be opening a ton of new product um, on the channel just because it's, you know, it's kind of tough to get some stuff. But, um, you know, w when when we have the chance to, we'll definitely do that. Also, we're looking at a couple other um, possibilities out there with some weekly series and whatnot. So, if, you know, if anybody's out there watching this and has any ideas or, you know, just just uh just drop a you know drop a line in the comments so but yeah no thanks thanks for watching sorry it took me forever to get into the break and i probably dragged on way too long but it was a fun product to open a bunch of different kind of wild looking cards so t it takes a little bit longer for for us uh veteran collectors so but uh no be on the lookout more videos to come peace out